returned by McCabe. Robbie Much gives a big shout and a good take by the Falkirk keeper. Tries to find Aidan Nesbitt. Oh, great control by Nesbitt. Turns away from Smith. Finds Keena. Keena. Tees up Morrison. Chance to shoot. Well, on his weaker left foot. Blocked well by Scott Walker. Long raking ball towards Leon McCann. Yep, Miguel gets the better of McCann. Finds Easton. Easton hits the shot. Takes a deflection. Behind for another corner. Good little spell the last five minutes for Airdrie. Easton flighted in. Big shouts there. Still active and then, well, could have and indeed maybe should have been. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you watched uh, last night the Arsenal Brentford game and Brentford's second goal effectively came from something very similar. Where you've got the forward who is not doing anything as Falkirk going the counter attack, but we'll go back to that in a second. That um, you found it. Oh, it's Falkirk. Pick it up. Nesbitt heads into the box. Cuts inside. Has a shot. Oh, Flecken. Oh, yes. Goal, Falkirk. Callum Morrison. 27 minutes on the clock. It's AJ now. Falkirk won. Well, cool, composed finish from Callum Morrison. And good play down the left flank by the Bairns. Well, they had a let off just 15, 20 seconds ago. If you're going to respond to it, that's the perfect way to do it. Falkirk making their way down the park, having the strike. Curry could only Robbie much. He's not following him. He's just standing there. So yep, Smith. Falkirk need to watch that. It's Aidan Keena with the defensive header. And then Charlie Telfer happy just to thump that one down the field for Katongo. Poor, poor clearance from Katongo. Can Falkirk take advantage? Nesbitt tries to find Keena. As Falkirk go on the counter again. Keena cuts in field, great shot, what a goal by Falkirk! Second clinical counter-attack in as many minutes. Keena cuts inside, what a finish, Aidan Keena. Take a bow, son, take a bow, as somebody would say. As you say, counter-attack goals. As we get high fives and punches from the Falkirk fans. Yeah, just a great cut inside from, from Aidan, left foot, curled it around the keeper. I, I thought it was going past myself. Oh, there was a curl. You know what, I we, we were right past, behind the line. Knowing the next one will test Falkirk's nerve if they can get it. Next goal, all important. Hetherington oh, turns into trouble off. and he's gone. And just like that, the game changes. Stephen Hetherington, the captain, sent off. Well, one minute to go before the half time interval to left centre mid as Airdrie look to make the man advantage count as Miguel bursts into space, takes on McCann good tackle from McCann this time he does get the better of Miguel Fordyce, poor clearance shows too much of that to Keena McGuffey finds Morrison he's got Nesbitt on the overlap Nesbitt with the chance to shoot the save by Curry Fordyce does enough Imagine Airdrie with all the time in the world at the back now. They go long towards Miguel. Noddy down. The shot is there. A great save by Robbie Much. Brilliant save by the Falkirk keeper. Tips that one round his left hand post. Leon McCann. Corner kick comes in. Big shout from Much. Seems to be bundled over. Falkirk can't clear their lines. McGuffey against Easton. Easton flights in, good delivery, well read by Mackenzie Lemon. Well, elsewhere we can tell you Clyde nil, Airdrie nil. It's uh, for Clyde nil, Alloa nil. Apologies, got Airdrie on the brain at the moment. As Airdrie do break forward with Frizzell. Lemon just does enough to hold him up. Good ball in, though. Chance to get one back. Must be and is. No mistake from Miguel. Time and space. Looking at it, good ball over the top. Well, unfortunately, defender just going to ground. And interestingly, Watson, the centre half, was spent the last few minutes up with his attackers. Leon McCann again over his head. Cammy Smith, the beneficiary. 
chance for Gallagher to shoot. Now, McCabe. Well, same move every time, paying dividends for Airdrie. The burn. It's basically just to keep your centre halves true. The Airdrie centre halves that is. Morrison goes down. Omprion. Well, chance to get a third for the Bairns. Unfortunately, couldn't direct the header. I think it was in defence. Watson tries to take on Morrison, thinks better off it. Airdrie just doing the old side to side. Good chip ball in. Two on one at the back post. Must be. A great save by Robbie Much. Great save, Robbie. Really should have been. Well, whether the ball just wouldn't quite sit down. McCann over the top. Morrison breaks the offside trap. He's all on his own, though. Omprion makes his way into the middle. Morrison goes past one. Breaks into the box. Can't be touched now. Well, weaved left, right, got himself the angle, unfortunately, just off balance. Charlie Telfer happy just to play it into the channel. Has to be Falkirk now. actively asking the referee how much longer is there to go here. Played long. Frizzell goes to the byline, decent cross in. And the header lands on the roof of the net. And there goes the full-time whistle. Finally, 95 minutes played. Not entirely sure where the extra time came from, but Falkirk fans at the moment not caring. They've played for over half the game, reduced to 10 men, taken everything that Airdrie could throw at them, and the points are heading back to Westfield. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Great play from Falkirk. Great second-half performance. Great courage, great conviction. Good substitutions as well. They happened at the right time. Robbie Much there saluting the Falkirk fans. Paul Sheeran managed to do a big sprint there. Didn't see him coming in from the right hand. The teamwork this afternoon was incredible. And that siege mentality that they showed in that second half is exactly why they're taking those points home. As you were saying, Lewis, it's just exactly what the Falkirk fans want. They want to see a, a team that fights and scraps and goes for everything, which, let's be honest, it hasn't been wasn't the greatest football match today, but the guys, especially that, those last 30 minutes, when they had their job to do, when Erdi scored that goal just after half-time, they knew exactly...